into this video I'm going to teach you past simple or simple past. In English, there are different kind of past. We have simple past, past continuous, and past perfect, and past perfect progressive. All right. But in my video today, I will try to explain you how and when can you use past simple. The simple past is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. Or I can say we use past tense to talk about something that is completely finished in the past. All right? For example, if you are talking to a person you say, yesterday I go to school. Yes, the person will understand you because you speak. It is communication. But grammatically, the person say that you are mistaken. Because if you say yesterday, the verb should be or must be in the past. That's why when you go to school to learn, when you have a guide, when you have a tutor who can help you to speak English, that's the best way. That's why I'm here to help you understand, to help you analyze everything in order to speak English as well as a real native speaker. All right? Example, I visited Ankara last month. I visited Ankara last month. Really? Come on. What, why did you go to Ankara? I went to Ankara because, you know, etc. Do you understand? Alright? How did you go to Ankara last month? I went to Ankara on foot. Oh, come on. It would be very difficult for me to leave Istanbul and go to Ankara on foot. Come on. And we have time markers. Time markers give the precision of the action. Because when you use time markers, you help the person who is listening. You help the person who is listening to you to understand what you are talking about. All right? For example, you say last night, last week, last month, last year, yesterday. Yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night, the day before yesterday, all right? And we have ego. Basically, we use ego with the past. I saw fra yesterday. Or I saw fra two days ago, two weeks ago. Do you understand? If you say, I see fra one day ago, you speak, no problem, but grammatically you are mistaken. That's good. And what is important when you talk about past tense? Sometimes students are confused. Sometimes students are confused past tense with past continuous. But in today's video, I'm not going to teach you about past continuous, but I'm just teaching you about simple past. And I think it will be useful for you when you speak English to verbalize in a proper way. Because tenses in English, I always say that to my students, tenses are very important. Because when you know, when you master, the tenses, it facilitates you to understand or to comprehend what a person is trying to say or what you want to say to that person. All right? We have regular and irregular verbs. All right? For the regular verb, you add ed. But sometimes, if you don't find, if your teacher doesn't tell you that, ED has 
three, pronunciation according to the phonetics environment. Now you will be in the hot water. All right? You will be in the hot water where you will have problem to pronounce that ed. Because that ed has a t sound, it has a d sound, and it has an ed sound. All right? ED has a T sound after a voiceless. When I say voiceless, that like, I means the vocal cord does not move enough. For example, we have talk, talked. We have wash, washed. All right. What did you do yesterday? Ah, oh, yesterday I talked to Mr. Nixon. But you cannot say yesterday I talked him. No problem. I don't understand you. But you have a pronunciation problem. Do you understand? Yesterday, I washed. I washed my clothes. Yeah. But you say, yesterday, I washed my clothes. Let's go back. We have call. Call. I will call you. I will give you a buzz. I will ring you. I will telephone you. You know that I'm using synonyms. But now, I'm not talking about synonyms. I'm talking about ED sound. It has a D sound after a voice. Clean, cleaned. You're going to say clean it. So, students sometimes, you know, I'm not having a problem. When they say, teacher, yesterday I cleaned my, my clothes, or me, no problem. I cleaned my room, no problem. But with me, you will say clean. All right? Need. Like it has a it sound after D or T. For example, you have need, ed, needed. What? What is it? All right? Uh huh. I needed to talk to you yesterday. You don't say, I need. To talk to you. No, I needed to talk to you yesterday. All right? And don't forget, the teacher, how can I ask question in the bus? You only need the uh, deed. Yes. Deed. All right? Deed. But don't forget, for the irregular verb, there is no choice. Learn them by memory. Practice. All right? Practice, study them. For example, by, bo, bo. See, so, see. Alright? Eat, eat, eaten. Alright? So, try to study them, try to practice them in order to keep them in mind when you speak to use them properly. Yesterday, I understood the teacher. You cannot say yesterday, I understand the teacher. If people understand it, but grammatically it's not good. Yesterday, I went to the beach. All right? I went to the beach yesterday. To ask question, you just need did. All right? What do you say? Did you travel yesterday? Uh-huh. How do you answer? Yes, I. I did for affirmative and no, I didn't for negative. If you want to ask question in the past class, just use did. Did you eat yesterday? Did you go to the beach? Did you wash the dishes? Did you clean your house? Did you, did you attend the class? Did you follow the rules? All right? I think with me today, you know why you use simple pass and how to use regular and irregular verb, I say it has three sounds according to the phonetic environment. And don't forget, for the irregular verb, guys, I'm not going to say you to use regular verb, to use that form. No, I just tell you, please master them, study them by heart. And I think if you do that, you will be able to speak English very well. And write 
With me, you learn simple present, present progressive. Today, I'm talking about past tense. And next time, I'm going to talk about past continuous. And I think we we'll teach you what only you will be able to master English very well. Don't forget, share with your friend, comment below, and enjoy yourself. Bye bye.